This entire sequence was shot with the iPhone 13 Pro and the newly designed Polar Pro Light Chaser Kit. Looks good, right? Polar Pro is sponsoring this video, but we're gonna test out the Light Chaser Pro and these cool filters that they sent. Now, disclaimer, the Light Chaser Pro Kit is only for the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max phones. I personally use the iPhone 13 mini, that's like my daily driver, but Polar Pro was kind enough to provide the iPhone 13 Pro and oh man, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty sick. I, I dig it, I mean, look, look at it. The Light Chaser Pro Kit is centered entirely on this ridiculous tough case. Like, no joke, it's a super rugged case that not only protects your phone from nasty falls, but it's also MagSafe compatible so that you can still charge your iPhone 13. Super easy to attach to your iPhone 13 Pro as well, just simply just connect and you're set. Oh. It kind of rhymed. Ooh, I feel cinematic already. With the Light Chaser Pro case being the base of the entire kit, there are accessories that you can attach to the case to help you make content creating a lot easier. Right here we have the grip, and it's supposed to emulate the grip on most cameras. Super easy to attach to the case as well. There's this slider over here, just gotta slide it up and uh, attach it to one of the divots on the case, just like so. And now you can hold your iPhone as if it were an actual camera. There are other divots in the case, and so if you wanna hold it a little closer, you totally can, but yeah, I like keeping it at the edge because it, it kind of feels like a camera. Oh, and there's a wireless Bluetooth shutter that you can purchase separately, which allows you to press record on the shutter button once connected to your phone. So it really does make it feel like you're using an actual camera. Now, what makes the Light Chaser Pro really shine are of course the lenses and filters. Unfortunately, I don't have the new lenses to test out, but I do have all the filters. Starting with my absolute favorite filter of the bunch, the mist filter. This bad boy creates this mist diffusion effect that in a way adds texture to your scene. A lot of filmmakers use a mist filter on their pro cameras, but to use it with an iPhone is something else because it takes your ordinary phone footage and turns it into something that looks cinematic. The filters do come with these covers and these cases, although if you have dry hands like me, um, it, it can be pretty slippery and you know, filters might fall off a cliff. You can vlog and create cinematic videos. <gasps> What? It just rolled off the cliff. Okay. Something small rolled off the cliff. Are you serious? Yeah. Did it look like a filter? Yeah. Oh, sh yeah, that happened. Oh, and uh, attaching filters to the Light Chaser Pro Kit case is, uh, is really easy as well. There are slots where the camera section is, and to attach a filter, you just gotta line up these little holders onto those slots, and then once connected, slide down, and you're ready to go. Oh, I totally feel cinematic right now. So cinematic. Another filter that I just absolutely love is a three to five stop variable ND filter. Now, if you don't know what a variable ND filter is, basically it helps you control exposure without having to force your phone settings to use a high shutter speed or high aperture value. Like for example, when you're shooting with just your phone on a bright sunny day, your phone's camera settings will try to reduce the exposure by increasing the shutter speed or increasing the aperture. But with a variable ND filter, you can help your phone control the exposure so that it doesn't use a high shutter speed or high aperture value. You. And when you control exposure just right, you can come up with something like this. All right, so I got the variable ND filter on and uh, I'm gonna rotate it just to show you um, how it controls the exposure. So if I rotate it left, it's going to increase it. And if I twist it right, it's going to decrease it. Yeah, it looks pretty good right there. Oh, look at that sunset, man. That is gorgeous. Next, we have two anamorphic filters, the gold morphic and blue morphic filters. Just as their names suggest, the gold morphic filter produces stunning golden anamorphic flares, and the blue morphic filter produces this sick blue anamorphic flare, which looks really good at night. So we're gonna get a shot of the sun setting over the ocean. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And right now I have the gold morphic filter attached to it. And as you can see, there's the, uh, that nice little flare. And uh, you can twist it easily just like so. Uh, whatever angle you want. But yeah, I just, uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like at sunset. 
They're both amazing filters, but keep in mind that they are not true anamorphic lenses. These are filters that emulate the effect of anamorphic lenses when pointed to a light source. Now obviously when you're pointing it away from a light source like the sun or a lamp or whatever, you're not gonna see those flares, but if you do point it at a light source, then those flares are gonna be activated, and uh, yeah, you can have some uh, fun with it. Except for this little flurry thing. That's not the filter's fault, that's, that's the iPhone's fault. Oh, bird. I will say that I wouldn't recommend using the ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, just because when you're using the ultra-wide lens with the blue morphic or gold morphic filters, you'll see these weird lines and it doesn't give you the effect that these filters were designed for. So if you're gonna use the blue morphic filter or gold morphic filter on the iPhone 13 Pro, just use the normal lens or the zoom lens. And last but not least, we have the circular polarizer, which is a really cool filter to reduce reflections through windows, over water, and even darkened skies. Every filmmaker should have a circular polarizer in their kit because you just never know if you're gonna shoot through a window or shoot over water. Like, reflections can ruin your image. I mean, if you wanna see a reflection in your shot, then yeah, go for it. But personally, I don't like seeing reflections and I use a circular polarizer to reduce them. All right, so here is an example of how the circular polarizer works. Let's just say they wanna film through this window, but you can't because there's a reflection in the way caused by the drapes. Well, to remove the reflection, all I have to do is rotate the filter until you don't see it anymore. <laughs> Magic. Pretty cool, right? So the great thing about having all these accessories with the Pull Pro Light Chaser kit is that you can vlog and create cinematic videos anywhere. You don't need to bring a big, heavy, expensive camera if you don't want to. If you just want to vlog and create some really cool videos just with your phone and attach a few accessories, the Pull Pro Light Chaser kit is the kit to get. Like, it really is. It's, it's so cool. It feels good in the hands. I love that I have a, a mist filter on. I got a gold morphic filter, a blue morphic filter, circular polarizing lens, a variable ND filter, a wireless grip. Like, it's, it's all good it's all the goods and and i think this year polar pro made a solid kit that ups the game when you want to shoot content with your iphone so good job polar pro but overall i love the light chaser pro kit i love everything that polar pro makes and this is a solid setup i mean the fact that i can hold it like an actual camera is is really cool you know it just it just feels right but if you want to level up your content creation and you have the iphone 13 pro or iphone 13 pro max then definitely check out the light chaser pro kit like it's it's really sick it's just a super solid setup to have and i totally love it if you want to check it out links will be down below but huge thanks to polar pro for sponsoring this video let me know what you think of the footage that i shot with the light chaser pro kit in the comments below as well that's it for this video thanks for watching be kind to your mom and i'll see you in the next one